So today I want to do just a really quick review of this here, which is the Made in Japan Hybrid 60s Jazz Bass. So this is the Fender Made in Japan Hybrid 60s Jazz Bass. The contour body and the nice logos here in a decal. Uh, this has the modern style tuning head, so they tune Titan the correct way, not the vintage way as the previous bass that I reviewed has. As you can see here, they're the open style tuners as well. The actual winding posts are more of a modern style with the flat top. The frets are very nice, and I don't think the edge is rounded, but they do feel very smooth, so I think they've at least partially sanded them, so it does feel very nice and smooth. The three-tone sunburst goes all the way up to the horn here. So the pickguard is very nice too. As you can see, And these are made in America pickups. So you have the classic volume tone knobs. <laughs> so it's a modern style bridge here. A little bit thicker than the vintage one and I think it feels pretty good. Now you notice here down the bottom it has the vintage classic 60s style gold wire which runs to the bridge for grounding. The modern ones have this wire internally so the fact that it's here is more of a, like a vintage vibe kind of thing. There's a screw here for grounding. If you look closely, you'll see there's some holes here where you can mount a thumb. I forgot what it's called, the thumb gripper or whatever it is. Now on the back, you also have a nice finish and I believe this is an older body. Unfortunately though, in shipping, it did get a dent here, which is a little bit unfortunate. As you can see on the back here, we have the Made in Japan. And there's no stamp on the back plate here, it's just a sticker. So one of my favorite features about this here is the neck is a satin finish. It's extremely smooth, there's no stickiness at all. And it is it's slightly thicker than the Squire one, which I reviewed previously. And so it's got a really nice feel when you grip it. And I've definitely found it a lot faster to play on. Now the ne neck pocket is pretty tight as well. As you can see there. And overall the finish and fit of it is just really nice. I don't really have many, I don't really have any complaints about this bass. Um, I do kind of wish the three tone sunburst had a, a bit more orange in it because it's, it's fairly sort of yellowy more than reddish and the way that it goes all the way up to the horn here is something that I haven't noticed on the Made in America fenders so aside from that I still think it looks pretty good and it plays and sounds really good too. Also if you look closely here there's screw holes for the pickup cover if you did want to attach one of those later but there are none for the bridge cover. Both pickups with the tone 100%. Just the bridge pickup with the tone 100. Both pickups with tone at 50%. Neck, tone 100. 
turn off. So that's pretty much it. That's a quick look at the Fender Made in Japan Hybrid 60s Jazz Bass. Um, so let me know what you think down in the comments and let me know if you would like to see any other tests or any other reviews of the basses. Thanks for watching.